So today I'm going to make glass garden flowers using these items from thrift stores. I found this really pretty teal bowl that I thought would make a nice flower because of the edges. Looks really pretty. And this is a little, um, I think this is a candle holder. Perfect for a garden flower. And this glass bowl. I've got a couple of little candle holders here. And this bowl looks like carnival glass. I love that. And this, and this is a, a doubled egg plate. These make really good flowers because of the shape. I'm going to use that. And here's a candle holder. And I have marble, so I'm going to use for the stamens. So I'm going to glue them to nails. And I have gems. And I'm going to use hockey pucks for the back to hold it onto rebar. Uh, somebody mentioned this online that this works for glass flowers, so I'm going to try that. See how it works. So I'm going to get started. So first thing I want to do is I need to have holes drilled in these hockey pucks. So I'm going to see if I can get those drilled so that the rebar will fit so into it. I'm going to go see if my neighbor Larry will drill holes in these hockey pucks for me. I see he's out there working in his woodshed, so I hope he will. That's really pretty. Cut all the 45s and it comes out like that. Wow. Let me get this. That's something Larry made. You're making jewelry boxes. Yeah. Nice. When I fix the base for it, it'll come out like this around it. And then I'll put a cove around it. Set it up. It'll look like it's set on four feet. Really nice. With it. He's making um, Christmas and gifts. Yeah, I get everything. For his granddaughter. Tightened up here. Okay. I just finished cutting that. I was trying to figure out what, what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if I'm going to natural stain it or darken it or. I think I'm just going natural. I think natural would look nice. I yeah. think so. Yeah. I'm afraid if I'm staining it, it's going to dark or something. It's going to take away from something. Anyway. Here's Larry with his sign his daughter made him. This used to be a dog pen and he made it into a woodshed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was a dog pen made into a woodshed. <laughs> My wife told me, clean up that old dog pen. I did. <laughs> okay, the first thing I want to do is make these stamens. I'm going to put marbles on the end of these nails. The nails are about uh, I don't know two and a half inches and I'm gonna glue the marble on the end like that and how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use some little clay beads I have this Sculpey clay from Walmart it's white Sculpey clay and I, I'm just gonna roll it into a little ball like this and put it on the head of the nail like that and then I'll put the marble on there and that's just to hold it in place while I put the epoxy glue on there until the glue dries that'll just hold it in place just like that okay so I stuck the marbles on there with the clay and I have this foam I put it in so they can stand up while it's drying and um, I use JB Weld epoxy it's a two-part epoxy so I have to mix it in a cup and then um, I'll put the epoxy on the marbles there so it'll stick to the nails. Okay. So I'll just squeeze it into a cup like this. Ok, 
Okay, that epoxy went on real easy. You can see that should hold it in place for a long time. So I'll let that dry for about five or ten minutes and then I'll be able to put those into the flowers. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is glue these hockey pucks with the hole drilled in it onto the backs of these. This is the back side of the flowers. So I'm going to flip these over. Like that. And I'm going to use epoxy and I'll glue these on here. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so I'll let that dry for maybe 10 minutes and then I'll be able to flip them over and start working on the middle of the flowers. Okay, so I flipped these plates over and I'm going to start building the flowers. So first thing I'm going to do is put this, this bowl, it's kind of the shape of a flower too. I'm going to glue that into the middle of this one, like that. Start with that. Put that right in the center. Okay, and then I'm going to put this um, teal colored flower into here in the middle, like that. Okay, I'm going to put this carnival glass, I think that's what it is, in the middle here. Okay, and I'm also going to glue this red candle dish into the middle like this. It gives it more color in this. The red also reflects onto the carnival glass, which looks really pretty. So, glue that. Okay, so now I'm going to make um, the very center of the flowers, I'm going to put the stamens in the middle. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use that same Sculpey clay. I rolled them into a ball like this. I'm going to put it in the bottom with these candlestick holders like that. And that's going to hold the nails up in place and I'm going to pour epoxy in here and um, the clay holds them in place until the epoxy dries. Okay. Ouch. 
Let's see. Would you like that? And then I'll uh, mix up epoxy and pour it in here. Okay. Let that harden. And we'll do this one. So I'll set that aside and let that dry. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some gems to this flower to give it a little extra color. There's a little flat spot on this uh, dish here, so I'm going to glue a gem on each of those spots. Okay, so this is what I have done. Almost finished. So tomorrow I'm going to put um, these stamens inside of the middle of the flowers like that. But I want to make sure they're dry before I do that. And this one's going to go in here. So, But I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so I let these dry overnight, and uh, last night I was looking at this and I thought it needed a little extra color, so I added these little blue gems on here too. So I think that looks really pretty now. So now all I have to do is glue these little candlesticks with the stamens into the centers. I'll use epoxy again, and then these will be finished. do this one first. Um, I need to flip it over so I'm just going to use that for now. Put it on these little bumps. Alright. Let's see. I'm going to put it like this. Hmm. Okay, and I'll do the same for this one. Go around the edge. So just 
go like that. Okay, so these are all glued up and I just need to wait for them to dry. And then I'll put them on the rebar and we'll see what that looks like. So on the last flowers I made, I used um, half inch conduit and I glued a bottle to the back of the flowers and uh, slid that over the conduit. And then I put a filler inside of here to keep it steady. But um, I wanted to show you something about the conduit. I did the same for this one. Conduit pole and a bottle. And that worked really well. But this time I used um, a hockey puck. And I want to show you what I ran into with that. Okay, so a hockey puck is one inch thick. So I thought um, a half inch hole in a hockey puck would work for the conduit. But, so this is half inch conduit, but it's not actually a half inch. So the actual measurement of a half inch conduit is 5 eighths on the interior. So it's even bigger than that. So that's why I couldn't use the conduit on the hockey puck it would have been too wide to drill a hole into here. So that's why I had to go with rebar. And I so I bought um, 3 8 inch rebar and I had the half inch hole drilled in the hockey puck. And that seems like it'll work really well. So, so I wanted to show you the paint that I use for the rebar. I use this Krylon Fusion all-in-one paint and primer. Um, this really w works well for outdoors. Um, it costs a little bit more than the other spray paints. I think it was $7.95 or something like that. And the other paints are like $6, but yeah, this works really well. So I would... Oh, hawk! And here they are finished. I think they look really pretty with the light behind it. Here's a side view. And there's the hockey puck slid over the rebar.